Meghan Markle baby, royal expert reveals who may see royal baby first, not who you think. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's baby may have a very unusual first visitor, according to a royal expert. Whilst many have speculated that the Queen would be the first member of the royal family to see the baby Sussex, this may well not be the case, according to expert Omid Scobie on the Royal On Air podcast. He posited that the answer may, in fact, be someone that few have even heard of, Meghan Markle's friend and makeup specialist Daniel Martin. Mr. Scobie explained that, now that the royal couple's residence of Frogmore Cottage has been completely renovated, friends have been able to come over. He told on air, every inch of that place is finished so they've been able to have friends over. Daniel Martin visited recently and he spent a little bit of time in Windsor and at the house. He was probably one of the first friends to actually go inside Frogmore Cottage. And I hear he'll be back later on in May as well. So he may even be the first to see the baby, who knows. The news comes as former Palace Press Secretary Dickie Arbiter claimed Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's baby could leave Buckingham Palace with egg on its face for one particular reason, and the public would never believe them again. Buckingham Palace would lose the public's trust if the royal baby had arrived and they denied its birth, claimed the former royal press secretary. Dickie Arbiter said the palace has categorically denied Meghan and Harry's baby has arrived, and would end up with egg on its face if this was proved to be false. Mr Arbiter told Nine News Australia, there are rumours, there's always going to be rumours floating around. The palace really did come out quite strongly and categorically denied that the baby was here. Now they are not going to deny if they are not absolutely sure, if they did deny and the baby was here they would really end up with egg on their face and nobody would ever believe them again. So this is a categorical denial, everybody will know in good time when the baby is here. Right now, it isn't. The former press spokesman for the Queen added, the true indication that the baby has arrived will be an announcement, plain and simple as that. As we heard from Harry and Meghan late last month that they are not going to announce the birth right away. They want a few days to bond with the baby before they make the announcement. They are going to do it in their time and not do it to order by the media. A coach under police escort is being led in the direction of Windsor Castle as with the Duchess of Sussex, Meghan Markle, is expected to give birth to her and Prince Harry's first child any day now. Meghan Markle is expected to give birth to her and Prince Harry's first child any day, after they announced the Duchess was pregnant back in October last year. Some royal watchers have even speculated that Meghan has already given birth to the royal baby. On Friday, a huge coach was seen being led by a police escort in the director of Windsor Castle, with online commentators linking it to the royal baby. Senior producer and video journalist for Good Morning Britain, Rob Vadgama, posted the video on Twitter, alongside the caption, Hashtag Royal Baby Watch a coach under police escort being led in the direction of Windsor Castle Hashtag Behind the Scenes. The video prompted an online reaction, with some joking about what the police escort for the coach could mean. One wrote, Anyway I am bored of politics. There is a baby on the way. Another joked, It's a mobile delivery suite. On Wednesday. It was announced that Prince Harry will be abroad between May 8 and 9 for a planned visit to the Netherlands. But it was then revealed on Friday that Prince Harry has decided to postpone his visit to Amsterdam, with rising speculations the Duchess is due to give birth. The royal will travel to The Hague on May 9 as planned, although this subject to review, depending on the birth of baby Sussex. Royal correspondent Victoria Murphy wrote on Twitter, Buckingham Palace has said that they have decided to postpone the Duke of Sussex's scheduled visit to Amsterdam on Wednesday 8 of May 2019. Harry is still scheduled to travel to The Hague on Thursday 9 May for the launch of the Invictus Games The Hague 2020 as planned. Royal correspondent for 5 News, Simon Vigar, claimed the Duke of Sussex would postpone the trip if Meghan is in labour. It is understood Meghan's mother Doria Ragland is already in Britain staying with the Duke and Duchess of Sussex in Frogmore Cottage after a dog walker was seen taking her pet for a walk near her property in Los Angeles. Ahead of the birth of the baby Meghan and Prince Harry moved into the newly renovated Frogmore Cottage in Windsor. 
The Queen was close to Meghan and Harry yesterday, attending a service in Windsor during the afternoon. Her Majesty was present at a service of the Royal Victorian Order at St. George's Chapel, which is where Meghan, 37 and Harry, 34, got married in May 2018. Some online commentators suggested the coach could be arriving in Windsor for the service of the Royal Victorian Order. Another signal Meghan's baby is imminent is the arrival of the Duchess of Sussex's trusted makeup artist Daniel Martin, who has dashed to London from the US to be near the mother to be, according to his friend. Mr. Martin was trusted by Meghan, 37, for her beauty regime for the royal wedding in May 2018, and he was also invited to her lavish baby shower in New York. The makeup artist appeared on fellow beauty expert Deepak Mutual's Instagram story on Thursday night, who said he had jetted in and out of London. The beauty guru would be expected to be on hand for Meghan if she were to have an organized photo shoot to announce the arrival of her baby. Ms. Mutualist suggested Mr. Martin went dancing with Diana Ross in Marrakesh before making a surprise stop off in London. The Duke and Duchess announced they would be welcoming their first child back in October 2018. A statement from Kensington Palace revealed the baby was expected to be due in the spring. The statement said, Their Royal Highnesses the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are very pleased to announce that the Duchess of Sussex is expecting a baby in the spring of 2019. Their Royal Highnesses have appreciated all of the support they have received from people around the world since their wedding in May and are delighted to be able to share this happy news with the public. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex announced in April they wanted to keep the plans around the arrival of their baby private and they would have introduced their firstborn to the world in due time, after having celebrated privately as a new family.